Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Marcel's Drum Ideas. Uh, we're going to do a simple concept today. No, no writing, no transcriptions, no notes to read. Just how do I come in at the beginning of a song with a simple flair, you know? So this is what I came up with. On beat four, we're just going to do a flam. And on the end of four, we're going to do a kick. And the hard part about this is you're going to go flam, kick, another kick on the downbeat, right? So, so that's the coordination we need. We can do it on any drum, floor tom, right? But we're going to crash that cymbal with another kick. Fatten up that cymbal, everybody. So let's do it in context a little bit. We'll just try to loop that every second bar. Yeah. Or maybe every bar. One, two, three, four, and 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 one, two, toms, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, last one. Okay, so now of course we don't have to reserve this for beat four. You can you can kind of use this as you see fit, as a fill even. But um, so great. So that's step one. So if you're playing, if you hear the music coming in, this kind of as a little thing at the end as well everything stops on one and then we have a four and one and the whole band stops right lots of possibilities for this um, this can also the same coordination can be applied at the end of four so we can go one and two and three and four so that'd be end a one still the same feeling though two, three. so I should be saying one two three four and one. Right? So um, get the slow version down and, um, and that's it. Now, I remember little variations on this and thinking, wow, that drummer really, like, he knows what he's doing, right? Um, so let's, let's uh, investigate a little further. On beat four, we could put an E in there. Four E. Four E. And, uh, right? So let's try that. One, two, three. And then it becomes part of our groove, right? But I just always like that. Same with the ending. You can do it at the end as well. Whole band stops. Two, three, done, right? So lots of fun to be had with that. Let's loop it. Um, we'll give it a measure, three, four, stop. Yeah, so we'll give it a measure of time with the pickup notes. And then we'll give it a break and come back in with the pickups over and over. Are you ready? Here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Simple. Two, three. All right, so there we go. Pretty cool. Uh, we can go further. We can add the for E N. We can go a little bit trickier. I can make that a part of my groove. Kind of incorporate that into our groove once we start, but that was right. So four e and one, four e and one, four e and one. Little slower. One, two, three, four e and one, two, three, four e and one, two, three, four e and 
two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Easy. After a while. Okay, so that's one of the options. What about what about this one? This one's one of my favorites. We're gonna go forty a one. Three. Forty a one and two and three and forty a one. Two. Three. Forty a one. Two. Three. Forty a one. Forty a one. So you gotta be comfortable with that motion. Four E and a one. Really break it down and go slow. Think about where the, the bass drum is happening within your right hand time flow. So we got one, uh, sorry, three and four and no, one and two and three and four E a one, two, three, four E a one. Now, I might not be playing that time flow, but I should be able to understand it. That sounds pretty cool, too. Like, I could continue this. You know? You can do it like that. You know, there's lots of fun to be had there. I'm doing it on every measure, I think. So, yeah, you can take all these ideas through the bar. So my right hand did not change, it just changed where I'm playing. Or I could just go. All these coordinations start to bleed together, you know, and then you can come up with your own ideas. Um, yeah, so also, obviously, we can incorporate that into our groove and practice the groove at the same time. One, two, three. So lots of fun to be had. Um, I, I've got another lesson that kind of relates to this, but I'm just going to keep it short and sweet, guys. And uh, thanks for joining me. And I don't want to change camera angles right now. So nice to see you, everybody. And take care and keep on drumming. Bye-bye.